Friends, these lamps you can see here. Suppose in place of lamp, there is a motor or pump. When we start this pump, then after starting pump, sometimes we have to count the time. I mean, till how much time this pump remain on. If there is a need to count this time, then for this, we use R meter. This R meter will count the whole time, that is, for this electrical equipment, what is the running time. Like here you can see, this lamp I have, for one minute this lamp is on. In this way, the time for which we keep this lamp on, this R meter will count that time. Ok then, today through this video, we are going to learn how this R meter work and how to use this R meter with any starter. So friends, let's start the video. This meter you can see now, in this, you will find total 3 display. This display shows the time, that is, R will be displayed here, minute is displayed here and second is displayed here. After this, if you look at the back side of this meter, I mean if you look here, then you will find two terminals. We have to connect power supply here to run this meter. Now how much power supply we have to connect here, we can find this detail here. Like here you can see it is written 220 volt AC. It means to operate this meter, we have to connect 220 volt AC power supply. This R meter I have now, we can use this meter at various places. For example, bore well used in fields, after turning it on, if we have to count for how much time bore well is running, then for counting, we can use this meter. In generator we use for electrical power supply, for measuring running R in this also, you can use this meter. There are various works in industries in which counting of time is necessary. So for this also, we can use this meter. Now friends, let us understand this meter we have, how to use this meter in any type of starter. See, here I have a DOL starter. With this starter, how to connect this meter, let's learn. I am using this starter here to turn on and off these lamps. And as I told you, assume this lamp here as a pump. I mean this pump here, for how much time this will run, we have to count this, through this meter. To start and stop this pump, here I am using a contactor. This means we have to connect this meter with this contactor only. How to connect this, listen carefully. See, here I have a DOL starter drawing. This contactor here, after turning on this contactor, whatever the pump we connected will start. What we have to do simply here, R meter we have, connect this R meter in parallel to contactor. It means to turn on this contactor, phase supply which is coming, this same phase supply will be connected with this R meter and neutral power supply will be directly connected to R meter. So in this meter, at the back side, there are two terminals for connection. We are connecting two wires here in this way. Here we connected two wires. Now take this red wire and connect with A1 terminal. At A1 terminal, I already connected two wires. There is wire loop to NO terminal. With this terminal, I am connecting this wire. To this white wire, we have to provide neutral power supply. So I am directly connecting this wire with A2 terminal. Connection of this R meter is completed. Now let's turn on the power supply. After turning on power supply, this start push button here, press this. On pressing push button, pump will start. Right now you can see in this meter, it is showing 1.7. In minute there is 1. This means till 1 minute, pump has run so. After this, here it is showing seconds. This second here will count 1 after 6 seconds. Now I am turning off this pump. After turning off, when I again turn on, where this counting is stopped, it will continue from there only. It means on turning off power supply, there will be no change in this meter. Now if you want to reset this, then simply press this reset button for 4 seconds. When you press it for 4 seconds, you can see counting is now at 0. So counting is started again from starting. For the time this pump will run, this R meter will do that counting. Friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like, comment and share on my video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, Please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.